I woke up in blackface today. Hope this isn't offensive. Mm, what is this? Today's video! I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make a video last week. I know, I'm so inconsistent. I'm in this weird flux of what I want to shoot and what I think I should shoot and it's just weird. I still don't have any ideas, but like if I didn't shoot a video this week, then I just would have not been happy. Um, just gonna random talk. I've started, I run every day now for three miles. It's a lie. I don't know why I did that. I like, I jog three miles. No, that's, I lied again. I, I, I briskly walk. That's true. I do. It's not a lie. I feel like my face is saying I'm lying, but it's not. I do. Like, you can probably see it. My collarbone coming back, right? Let's, 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 let's talk about things I'm obsessed with lately. Obsessed with the Hamilton soundtrack. Like, just, that's, it's all I listen to. It's either Hamilton soundtrack or podcast. I am so obsessed that I'm at the point where I'm seriously contemplating tattooing a lyric somewhere on my body. I don't think I would regret tattooing a Hamilton lyric. You know, I have a John Mayer lyric and I don't regret that. The majority of days, like, super obsessed. Like, I love the music, I love the story. It's so interesting. I have his biography now I'm reading. I love the relationship between Alexander Hamilton and his wife Eliza, and then Eliza's sister Angelica. Like, they're best friends, but like, Alexander and, all, and Angelica have this sexual tension, and I really hope that they did start a harem. Like, I'm not personally into polygamy, but like, with them, like, really into Kato Kalen right now. Really into him. Ooh, if the word humble brag was a per an actual person, I feel like it would be Kato. I don't know what it is. And he just found out that he works in the same town as me, and I'm not gonna say it's a coincidence that I walk three miles every day around that area. I mean, there's no correlation between me trying to get my collarbone back and maybe bump into Kato Kalen. Max from Fuller House, obsessed with that kid. In the first few episodes of Fuller House with him, I was like, eh. And then by the puppy episode, I like lost my shit. Like he is my favorite person, he's, he's adorable. Oh my God. And if you don't like Max from Fuller House, holy chalupas go f yourself. Between him and Jacob Tremblay, I like want a kid like right now at this moment. So I think that's all I'm obsessed with. I guess I can throw a peeve in. Kim Kardashian's naked photo she threw out on the interwebs. I'm not, that's not a peeve of mine, that's fine. Hey, you do you, you wanna do that? That's fine, I get it, Kim. I'm not wearing pants right now, and I'm online. I get it. It's just that she tweeted it, and what was it? When I have nothing to wear, LOL. It's the LOL that gets me. I hate when people put LOL at the end of a sentence. This also applies to ha -ha and he he's, but I will accept lols with a z at the end because I think I, f I feel like you're being ironic with that. I don't like it because I don't like being told how to feel. I don't want to be told that this sentence is funny, you should laugh at it. I like to interpret sentences I read my own way. For example, I hope you get HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Isn't that more intriguing than me texting you? I hope you get HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, lol. Cause then you're looking at your phone like, does she want me to get the virus that causes AIDS or is that just a joke? And I don't want to toot my own horn, but me doing that and me making you use your cognitive functions is I'm basically helping you, you know, prevent dementia and Alzheimer's disease. I think. I don't really remember if that's a true statement, if that helps. You're a mistake. Now you're thinking, like, am I a mistake being born? Or like, am I a mistake in a relationship I had? Or like, is Chandra talking to me specifically? Is she just singling out one person that's watching this and saying you are a mistake? So there you have it. A little disclaimer. I think I can make a joke about HIV because when I was a little kid, I watched Life Stories, Families in Crisis on HBO, the Joey DiPaolo story. This kid who got HIV from a blood transfusion. He's still alive too. I, 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 I every few years I look him up. I do. I liked him and his best friends did Blood Brothers, but they didn't do it touching fingers because he had HIV, so they put the blood in the sand and they rubbed it in. 
thought that was adorable and I always wanted to have friends to do that with, but none of my friends would ever do it. Also, if you're watching these videos of mine and you're like, wow, Shonda, you look really weird and socially awkward. I think I could see myself spending the rest of my life with her. If I got a deal for you, if you fly me out to New York and take me on a date to go see Hamilton, I promise my hand in marriage. Seriously, it's not a joke. That's how passionate I am about Hamilton. Don't worry, it's not a mistake. I'm not in the plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. What is it? Polygamy? Poly Am I having another reaction? Like, I'm not personally into polygamy. Isn't that like more intriguing than me saying, I hope you get AIDS. <laughs> or hear what I say. 